guys, today we're going to talk about Snapcaster Mage, and I read a Reddit post where Snapcaster Mage is worth more than gold. It is worth it's more than the weight its weight in gold, which is kind of funny, but at the same time kind of sad for a rare. Now, Snapcaster Mage is a very good card. The problem I see with modern, which I've already highlighted in previous videos, is that when a card go down because of reprints or mainly because of reprints. Other cards go up, so the net balance is actually higher than it started with. Because Snapcaster Mage, I still remember it as a fifteen twenty dollar card, and now it is a hundred dollar card. And surprise, surprise, right? It is. And you look at not only Snap. I'm going to use Snap as the example here, but you look at Ink Moth, you look at Liliana, you look at Hot Master Olivia. I mean, you could, the list can go on. The Fastlands. These prices are not because the card suddenly became good. The card hadn't changed. It still it does exactly what it did the day before it spiked. Snapcaster Mage is a card that everyone should have a playset of. It is a card that everyone should have known was very good. Um, same with Liliana. The problem here is... Was it going to be reprinted? Was it not going to be reprinted? At the time, no one knew what Modern Masters 2015 went up to. So yeah, once it was announced that Innistrad wouldn't be in it, yeah, it's pretty safe. But is it really that safe? Because Liliana was supposed to, of the Veil was supposed to be an M15, which I feel like it was a complete mistake for them not to have it, as the price will show. But Snapcaster made very hard to reprint um, currently. No reprint on the Horizon. It's worth, I think, 90, 100 bucks right now. It's literally worth its weight in gold. I don't like it. I think it's kind of, for players, it's just very sad that this happens all the time where, okay, some cards got cheaper, but other cards you didn't have now have times by four, and you end up not saving money because you need those Snapcaster Mages. Yes, Splinter Twin got cheaper, just got reprinted, but the deck is about the same because snaps went up, like quadrupled in price. It's just kind of sad to me. Like it really is sad that a card like Huntmaster, and I, I mean, I'm complaining about these cards when I fully have dozens of them. It is uh, very sad to me. And I want to clarify something very, very simply. I'm not the reason these cards are spiked because I've always owned those cards since rotation. I've owned them when they were at the lowest price point and they were at the lowest price point you could have purchased them for the last until recently like hot master for like what five bucks you could have purchased him for and you you either did or you didn't but that i didn't purchase any more i just kept them and i mainly kept them because they came in collections and i like to collect and make things symmetric and that's what i do the snapcaster mages i mean it is so interesting to me uh, to see a rare from a recent set, a widely open set. Innistrad was one of the most popular, I think it was the most popular set when it first came out. Be at a, you know, 100 bucks? Are you kidding me? That's like, there's something else that's being, that's happening here and I can only pinpoint it to, to greed and that some people are extremely greedy. Now, I have snaps and I'll let, I will let anybody in my locals borrow my snaps and Lilianas as long as they are a regular player. And I think that's what I'm going to do is I have these extra playsets of snaps and hunt masters and I don't have an extra playset of Liliana because I sold her. But um, I have all these extra cards and I would love uh, for people to use them and not have to pay outrageous prices. And honestly, like it is a little... To me, I and I own these cards. It, it's a little, um, it's bad. I get it. I totally get it. But if you're a loco and you want to hit me up for some cards uh, and to borrow them, or you know, I don't know, give me some anime as collateral to uh, use them, then I'm more than happy to do that. And if you're a close friend, yeah, absolutely. Bye, guys.